We're now also going to throw some algebra in when we're busy cubing. So, if we want to work out the volume of this cube, which has side length of 4b, well, we know that the way to work out the volume of the cube is to take the length times the breadth times the height. So it's going to be 4b times 4b times 4b, which we can write as 4b in brackets, all cubed. And then the answer to that will be, well, 4 times 4 times 4 gives us 64, and b times b times b gives us b cubed, and so the volume of the cube is 64 b cubed. And we could also see that as being 4 cubed is 64, and b cubed is b cubed. All right, let's again have a look at how it differs depending on what's in the bracket, what's outside the bracket, and so what's being cubed. So let's have a look here. In the first one, we have 4b in the bracket, that's all being cubed. So that means we're taking 4b, multiplying it by 4b, multiplying it by 4b. And as we've just seen, that's going to be 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. b times b times b is b cubed. 4b cubed, in this case, it's just the b that's being cubed. And so that means it's 4 times b times b times b. And that's just 4b cubed. In the next one, what's being cubed? It's the 4b. There's a negative outside, but that's not being cubed. So what we end up with is we've got a negative and then 4b times 4b times 4b. And that is going to give us negative 64b cubed. And then in the next example, we've got negative 4b in the brackets cubed. So it's that whole negative 4b that is being cubed. So what you get is negative 4b times negative 4b times negative 4b. And a negative times a negative times a negative gives me a negative. And then 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. B times B times B is B cubed. So we get ne negative 64 B cubed again here.